What's up guys, it's Ron again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and today I'm headed down to my oldest daughter's elementary school and I get to go in and talk to the whole grade level, the whole first grade uh, level about scuba diving for their career day today. And it's really neat to be able to introduce children at that age into the world of scuba diving, talk about what I get to do for a living, how I get to travel the world, teach new people about diving, learn about ecology and science and physics. And it's really neat to introduce them at such a young age and kind of instill what scuba diving is all about to them. So hopefully we'll have a good day today. I've got about 62 kids I'll be talking to grand total. They'll be bringing different kids to us, but uh, I'm actually going to let my daughter help um, during her class, when I'm teaching her class, I've brought all her scuba gear in. And I'm going to let her put it on and kind of help me teach her class. So come along with us and it should be a lot of fun today. Yep, it's, this is Tessa's wetsuit. And this is made of a material called neoprene. And neoprene is basically just a, a piece of rubber that protects us from the environment. It protects us from any bad animals out there. It protects us from jellyfish stings. But more importantly, it keeps us warm. Because water... And this is something you'll learn later on in a science class. Water conducts heat away from us 25 times faster than what air does. So the wetsuit, when Tesla's wearing this, it keeps that body heat in. So this is kind of like a protective layer. We all wear raincoats when it rains, right? That's basically what this is. It's, it keeps the water off of her and it keeps her warm. We also have boots that we can wear. Protects our feet, keeps our feet warm when we're underwater. So she would just simply wear this down on her feet. We've got some very, very basic, simple gear. And this is what we really all need to have when we go scuba diving. What's this? Let's put it on for me. Goggles. Goggles, we call a mask. And there's a big difference between goggles and mask. Okay? Can we talk to There you go. When we wear goggles, they just kind of cover our eyes, right? Yeah, so you can see them. And right. um, Okay, well the mask will cover her, her eyes and her nose. And one of the things that you'll learn, not in, not in this grade level, but when you get in bigger science classes, you'll learn about Boyle's Law, which is a physics law that you'll learn. And we have to control the air pockets that's inside the mask, and the way we do that is with our nose. So that's why we wear a scuba mask and not goggles. Um, okay, what are these? Flippers. Flippers, right, dive fins, right? Why do we have to wear these? Well, that's what the boots do. What do you think the flippers do? Yes? They help me swim. That's right. They help us swim through the water. Now, if we all jumped up and ran a circle around the room, do you think we could do it pretty easily? Yeah. Absolutely. But if, what if I poured water in the room? There's about two foot of water through here. Could we run through the water as easily as we could the air? No. And the reason we can't do that is because the water is much more dense. It's 800 times heavier than what air is. So we have to have something to propel us through the water. That's what she does with her fins. She puts her fins on and she's able to kick through the water. Anybody know what this is? Oh, uh, snorkel. Snorkel, very good, show them how to use it. So basically now what she can do is put her face in the water, she can see through her mask, but she, can, she can breathe can the breathe. air. All right, we call that surface air. It's the same stuff you're breathing right now. Can I have your attention please? Two of the presenters that have not been able to attend today, Sam Marino and Andrew Latchford, are not here today. I'm sorry. Okay. Tell everybody what this is. This is a scuba. Alright, what is it? This is a pilot. That's right. This is what we got to take underwater with us to carry that we need to breathe. And you know what's inside here? What kind of air? Oxygen. oxygen. Well, there's more than just oxygen. It's oxygen and nitrogen. But you know what's really cool about this air? It's the same stuff you're breathing right now. It's the exact same air. There's nothing special about it. It's just the same air we breathe. I mean, this is what we got to have to survive. So we have to take it with us underwater. Yes? Does she have something for it to, like, not be as heavy on her back? Well, underwater, we have what's called Archimedes Principle. And that basically states things in the water are not as heavy as what they are here on land. Because it's one heavy on four pounds. That's right. Okay, so tell them what this part is. Remember? This is like the... BCD. The BCD. All right, and that 
that stands for buoyancy compensating device. So 95% of all humans here on earth, when we jump in the water, even if we couldn't swim, we automatically float, okay? And it's because we displace enough water to float, and that's what Archimedes' principle is. But what this does is this either allows us to float or sink, it's called a buoyancy compensator, okay? Yes? What's that? The regulator, I'm gonna get to it in just a second, all right? So when she puts this on, basically what it does, it allows her to carry her tank. It is here on land. And so now she can carry her tank on her back when she's underwater. It doesn't get in her way. And it's pretty heavy up here, isn't it? But underwater, it doesn't hardly weigh anything. <clears throat> and then we have this little device. Tell them what this is. Regulator, and that's what she actually breathes through. It's got a little mouth here. Show them how you breathe. Just like that. And we have two. Why do you think we have two? Right, if somebody has trouble and theirs is not working, she can hand this off to her friend, to her dive buddy, and it helps them breathe as well. It's kind of like a spare tire on a car. Everybody's got a spare tire on a car, right? That's basically what that is. Alright, hold on one second, I'll get the questions. What is this right here? That's what I'm pulling up and I didn't pull it back. Right. So what this is, this is a pressure gauge. It lets her know how much air is in her tank at any time. Alright, so we've got to monitor that. Has anybody ever been in a car when mom and daddy ran out of gas? It's not fun anyway. Well, well this is basically a gas gauge. It tells us how much air is in the tank. You have to push the car. And we have to have all this specialized gear to survive underwater. Because what, what do we learn? We, there's one thing we can't do underwater. What is it? Breathe. Breathe. So without this gear, we can't survive. All right? Now, there's a lot of science involved in scuba diving. A lot of science. You're going to learn things like Charles's Law and Henry's Law and Dalton's Law and a bunch of, bunch of scientific stuff, That's right? Dalton's Law. Dalton's Law? I don't know if I've ever heard of Dalton's Law. But I can teach you a little bit of science from scuba diving with something you already know. All right, guys, so I just got finished up at my daughter's school, and this year I had a, a total blast helping out uh, for the 2018 career day. It was extra special for me this year because my daughter was involved. Not only was I teaching her class, but she was able to get up and put her scuba gear on and help me teach her fellow students about it. And one thing that I really like about teaching young children about diving is it gets to, or it shows them that the basic math and science that they learned during school is going to apply to everything they do in life, and especially scuba diving because there's a lot of math and science involved but it's always basic math and science even physics is very basic in nature so the basic arithmetic that they learn they're going to apply that towards scuba diving in, in general and, and most walks in life so guys once again i appreciate you watching this video if you get the opportunity to teach a child about diving just to even talk about diving you know the ecology the the marine life that they're going to see do it don't be afraid to bring children into your world of scuba diving but guys i really appreciate you watching this video if you liked it do me a huge favor just simply hit that like button for me and share this video it, it's very simple to do just hit the share button put it on your facebook your instagram whatever just share it out there for me but guys i really appreciate you watching the video if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below i'll try to answer your questions the best i can um if you're in our area you want me to come by and talk to your class simply put it down there as well uh, shoot me a, a email or a private message and i'll happily answer i'll be glad to come out and talk to your class as well but guys as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.